last thing they had in mind to actually walk out with the fucking conservatory tag team titles when they pulled that one off, much to the surprise of all the Big Bang TV fans down in Florida. But they are the tag team champs, no doubt about that. And they are no strangers to tag team gold at all. And we all know, fans, in Wildside, no crime goes unpunished. One way or the other, Blackout are going to get their just desserts for what they did to the original Chosen One, Rick Michaels, two weeks ago on Wildside, attacking him with barbed wire brass knuckles and bloodying him up here in the middle of the ring. And I don't know if that is going to deter their focus from defending these bang fucking conservatory tag team titles. They're going to work on Windsor and London early. Go for it. the close line. Blackout sent really hard to the outside. Up and over that top rope. Here come Windsor in London. Baseball slide. Make it two of them. Boy, Homicide and Rain Man have had their act curtailed considerably. Here Paul comes London. Paul London with a two big on Hilo to the outside. Things are going crazy. Jeff G. Bailey needs a new pair of underwear. Uh, things are the three. Things are turning out for his tag team champions. Blackout this week on Wildside. What a main event is shaping up to be, and it's just started. And the Royal Stud, Adam Windsor, called Dory Funk's prize pupil, his prize protege. Dory Funk Jr. has attested this man's abilities all over the country. He definitely believes that the Royal Stud, Adam Windsor, is the second coming of a Funk family member. Double underhook by Adam Windsor. Butterfly suplex onto the soul assassin, Rain Man. Hook a leg, two count only. And we know what street thugs, Homicide and Rain Man are, but there's no denying the wrestling smarts that they've got. And there's that Dory Funk Jr. patented forearm by the Royal Stud Adam Windsor. Paul London comes in, and what a track record Paul London has. Not only has he trained under Dory Funk Jr., but as well the heartbreak kid Shawn Michaels in San Antonio, Texas. Look at the light there by London, only a two count. As I mentioned earlier, too, I mean, Paul London, how many people is considering one of the matches of the year against Osamu Nishimura just a week and a half ago. And a charging shoulder from London into the wobbly Rain Man. Snapmare takeover by Paul London. Drops a fist to the face of the Soul Assassin. Lateral press. Rain Man able to roll a shoulder at two. Well, this Paul London is a fireball. The Royal Stud Adam Windsor moved the more technically sound of the two. Paul London's uh, the preferable high flyer. Drop toe hold there by London. Elbow by Adam Windsor. Windsor hooks the leg, homicide in, quick to break up the cover. Perhaps it's that combination of the more land-based Adam Windsor with the more aerially-based Paul London to make this such a powerful tag team. Been a tent from the Royal Stud, Adam Windsor, and Rain Man's been in from since the get-go. Big chop in the corner by Adam Windsor. Rain Man in the corner, Windsor follows through, big clothesline. Adam Windsor dominating Rain Man, big DDT. Of the jumping variety. Well, I don't think Rain Man has faced this much damage to his body yet, ever. Low blow though from Rain Man, that certainly will stop Adam Windsor in his tracks. And of course, casually missed by Andrew Thomas. Sit out jawbreaker by Rain Man. Conveniently too, I might point out. And a homicide is in. Homicide, the more aggressive of the two. He's not going to do a lot of flash. Homicide's not going to flip all over the ring. He's just going to beat the hell out of you. He's the veteran of the two, the anchor of Blackout. Irish whip. Burning lariat by Homicide. Homicide quite pleased with himself. But it's going to take a lot of firepower to take Adam Windsor down. Another forearm shot by Windsor. Remember, it was Blackout who defeated Adam Windsor and his partner at the time, Bone Crusher, in Florida for the Funky Conservatory Tag Team titles. I wonder the fact that Bone Crusher could not make it here this evening because of the damage that Blackout inflicted on him just a couple of weeks back. I wonder if that's going to be a key ingredient. Had to get Paul London as a substitute partner, but what a substitute. Oh, this yeah. guy's worked all over the country and all over the world, in Canada, the United States. He's worked south of the border as well. Paul London, Irish with reversal, homicide, sends him into the corner. Paul London gets, uh, he catches homicide in a head scissors. Homicide sends him out onto the apron, but a forearm shot by London. And rams homicide's head into the top turnbuckle heart. Paul London, springboard! 
Homicide shoots him hard to the outside pole and it comes crashing down thunderously onto the barricade. Dory Funk Jr. to checking on his pupil, checking on his protege to make sure he's able to continue this tag team title match. Uh-oh. Homicide and Dory Funk Jr. nose to nose at ringside. All of the versionary tactic for Rain Man to zoom in on Paul London, who I believe hit face first on that ring barrier. Dory Funk Jr. is not going to back down from any challenge. The son of Dory Funk Sr., the brother of Terry Funk. This man has been around the wrestling business his entire life, a bona fide legend. He is not going to back down from the challenge of even the most violent tag team in professional wrestling today. And I might point out to a member of the only wrestling family that is not dysfunctional. God bless the Funks. Not many of those left. Rain Man now in control. Paul London takes him down on with a forearm shot. Irish whip by Rain Man. Paul London comes back. Spine splitter. Paul London managed to get his shoulder up just before the three count. Rain Man and Homicide defending their newly won Funkin' Conservatory Tag Team titles. This week, and your main event on NWA Wildside. Blackout with a Dark City style beatdown in the corner on Paul London. London goes into the far corner, double shoulder tackle, double bulldog for a blackout. You know, Andrew Thomas has wanted to show an awful lot of leniency when his friends are involved, and he's showing more than his share here this evening. Yeah, Andrew Thomas definitely playing his typical one sided role. Here in this Funkin' Conservatory tag team title match here exclusively on NWA Wildside. Knee to the groin by Homicide. Boy, the number of double team maneuvering from a blackout is even more than normal. Dory Funk Jr. circling the ring. Looks like a caged lion. Homicide with a sitting rear chin lock on the pole on it. Tag made into Rain Man. Like Dory Funk using a little bit of a psychology against the team of blackout himself well it's definitely got to be um in the back of their mind that the former world heavyweight champion is on the outside and if jeff g bailey so much as tries to get involved i have a feeling the door front jr is going to be waiting in the wings oh one they counter sunset flip there rayman kicks out well i don't think black oh spinning heel kick on paul london I don't think even either member of Blackout will admit this, but I think they've got to be somewhat daunted and somewhat ill at ease with Dory Funk Jr., a legend like Dory Funk Jr. at ringside. Blue Thunder Bomb by Homicide. Paul London gets a shoulder up, nick of time again. Blackout working as a tag team. They are the cohesive tag team unit here in NWA Wildside, cutting the ring in half. Quick tags. In and out. They were consummate tag team wrestlers. One of the best in the sport today. Dug a clothesline by Paul London. Double eye cross body in the ring. Amazing tag team action. However, we gotta take a quick break. We'll be back with more of this action coming up right after this. Hang with us. Ladies and gentlemen, we are back. You're watching the number one professional wrestling alternative NWA Wildside Interpromotional Tag Team Main Event. The Funking Conservatory Tag Team titles on the line. The champions, Blackout, defending against Adam Windsor and Paul London. Big clothesline by Windsor. Down goes Homicide, and another. He scoops him up. Big slam by the Royal Stud. And another. Rain Man tying up Adam Windsor. Oh, that was close. So was that. Big right super money. kick. Forearm shot. But Jeff G. Bailey has Andrew Thomas distracted. And Dory Funk Jr. is going to take, uh, he's going to take exception to this. Oh, dear, Dory Funk Jr. and Jeff Bailey is that form. And Jeff Bailey was 25 years old. The spinning toe The spinning toe with my guy Jason Cross, Adam Jacobs, and Iceberg beating the crap out of the legend Dory Funk Jr. Come on! This man's a legend! This man, wait a minute in the ring! Michaels and Young in the ring! Spine buster! Double shot! by Rick Michaels and David Doug on the blackout. Where on earth did they come from? And thank heavens they're here. David Young and Rick Michaels coming in like a bolt out of the blue. 
Sports at Dory Funk Jr. with forearm shots to Iceberg. Rick Michaels and Adam Jacobs. Homicide and David Young for Paul London. He's heading up to the top turnbuckle. And Rainman, oh, whoa! Beautiful shooting star. We have new fucking conservatory tag team champs. Ladies and gentlemen, the winners of the match, the new fucking conservatory tag team champions, Paul London and the Royal Stud, Adam Winter. And unbelievably, Paul London and Adam Windsor, this is all the first time they've ever tagged with each other. And look at this brawl on the outside of the ring between Rick Michaels and David Young and Blackout. Bad attitude. Of all people, who ever expected those two to come out as a unit? Thank heavens they were here. The iceberg is back. Jason Cross, Adam Jacobs, the Alina Fred. And here comes Rick Michael and David Jump again, and I think Jacobs and Cross are beginning to think otherwise and getting involved here. It's AJ Styles and Tank! It is completely breaking down with the NCW arena. My God, I've got some security out here. Fans, we are out of time this week on Wildside. Don't miss this week, fans. David Young's going to defend the Wildside title against the Iceberg. I'm Dan the Dragon Wilson for Steven Prezak. We'll see you next week. If there's anything left in this place. My God, it's breaking down. Ladies and gentlemen, one more time, your new booking and territory back to champion, Adam Winter and Paul London. And let's hear it one more time for the legendary Dory Funk Jr.